In this video, we're going to learn about the next third parties package and use it to add Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager to our Next.js 14 app. So let's dive right in. So inside the Next.js documentation, if you search for third party libraries, you're going to come to this page and uh, which introduces this next third parties library, which is an internal library developed by the Next.js team and third parties like Google that provides a collection of components and utilities to improve performance and developer experience loading popular third-party libraries in your Next.js app. Now you can go ahead and install it using the next third parties at latest. Uh, you have to also update your next version to the latest version. So this is a still experimental and it is recommended that you use the latest versions of Next.js and also this next third-party package for it to work properly. Now, as of right now, the only third-party packages or libraries that support it is just Google-related third parties, things like Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics, YouTube Embed, and Google Maps. But I believe in future, they're going to add more third-party packages that would require a similar pattern of you loading a script and that you can benefit from performance optimization or the better developer experience that you would have using this third party. Now, we're going to use the Google Tag Manager in this instance to be able to track page views, for example, or send events to Google Analytics. So we're going to create a container in Google Tag Manager. If you're not familiar with Google Tag Manager, it's just basically a tool for you to manage all sorts of different tags. It can be Google Analytics, it can be Facebook Pixel, but it's just one central container that you just deploy to your app using this Google Tag Manager component that you would just need to pass in your Tag Manager ID or your container ID. We're going to look at this in a second together. And then inside of this container, you can have your Google Analytics, you can have your Facebook or any other tag for that matter. So let's go ahead and install this uh, inside of our app. So I've started from a brand new Next.js app by using the Next Starter template we created a couple of videos ago. If you haven't seen that video, I walked through my Next.js setup. I'm going to include a co uh, link in the cart and in the description. You can basically use that template to create a new repository and then clone your own repository to start from a similar starting point that uses Tailwind, TypeScript, and some pretty plugins to just sort your Tailwind classes. Now to use Google Tag Manager or this specific component from the next third-party package, all we need to do is to import the Google Tag Manager component from next third parties for slash Google and include it inside of our root layout if we want this to run on all of pages. And if you want this to only run or track a specific page, you can just include it in that specific page. So let's go to our root layout here. And here I'm going to just grab that and I'm going to import this Google Tag Manager component from the third-party Google. Let me just close this off. So all I had done is to bring in this Google Tag Manager and I've included my Google Tag Manager container ID. I'm going to go to the Google Tag Manager site in a second to show what we're doing there. But I'm just importing this from Google up top and then including this, which is going to by default just uh, import or load the necessary scripts into our application so we can start sending events and tracking page views inside of our Google Tag Manager. Now, if you're not familiar with what Google Tag Manager is, it's basically a tool that allows you to manage all sorts of different tags. It doesn't necessarily need to be Google Tags. It can be Facebook Pixels, LinkedIn Tags, or your Google Analytics Tags, but it's just a container that you install on your site first, and then you would just deploy all the tags to your Google Tag Manager, and because the script is already loaded on your page, you don't need to uh, separately install any of those scripts. For example, if you now want to add, let's say, Google Analytics to your Next.js app, uh, you don't have to install any further scripts here. You just need to connect your Google Tag Manager to your Google Analytics so it starts sending or tracking those events or sending those events to your Google Analytics. Okay, so um, you can also use this um, to send events. We're going to also do this in a second. So you can use this send uh, GTM event function. For example, here they have added it to a button on click. 
we're going to do this and track it inside of our Google Tag Manager in a second. So let's actually go to our Google Tag Manager. I have created a new account. Uh, once you go to tagmanager.google.com, you can create a, a new account. You can point it to your uh, web app. This is a deployed version of the same app we are working on. I'm not going to go through actually adding the Google Analytics tag or connecting the tag manager here. But what I've done so far is that I've created a page view tag that triggers on all of the pages so we can actually see this in action. So going back to our application, let me just go ahead and add these components over here to my page. So inside of my page down here, I'm just going to paste some code. So what we're doing here is I'm rendering a section Let's just bring in this send GTM event. Now if you're using an on-click event handler, so you, we need to be on a client component. So let me just turn this into a client component. So we have loaded the script inside of our root layout. This is going to load the necessary tag manager scripts. So this is ready to fire events. Now from inside here, I'm adding a button, this send event button that's going to send a GTM event. Now to test this out, I'm going to actually go to uh, my container here on the preview. This is going to allow you to open the tag assistant tool. You need to plug in your URL. So this is, so let me just copy this part, close this, bring it here. So we're going to just point this to our deployed version and we're going to click connect. This is going to connect the two together now on the deployed version, I have actually also implemented the YouTube embed. So ignore that for a second. We're going to deploy that or add that uh, together here as well. But now that we have opened this, if you go back to our tag assistant, you could see that it has tracked this uh, page view, if you can see it here. And if I go ahead and use this button that calls this send GTM event function, if I click on this and go back inside of my tag assistant, I should be able to see this button click. Let me just make this a bit bigger. This button click is now adding this um, the event to my data layer. You can see the value of X, Y, Z, the same thing that we have added here. If you have worked with the data layer in Google Tag Manager, this is basically doing that. So as easy as including this component and using this functionality, there's more options you can pass into um, the component. For example, the data layer name, other attributes that you can pass in. And as I mentioned, you could use this Google Tag Manager to add Google Analytics or deploy Google Analytics to your site. Um, or you can just go ahead and use the Google Analytics component alone on its own. This was added in Next.js 14.1. We covered this briefly when we reviewed uh, the release notes from version 14.1. So if you're not using Google Tag Manager, you don't need to. You can just go ahead and uh, directly use the Google Analytics component and pass in your uh, measurement ID that you get inside of your Google Analytics. Okay, now we can again use the send GA event function to send analy analytics events the same way that we use the data layer inside Google Tag Manager. And the rest is very similar to the Tag Manager actually. Now Google Maps is another component that you can use to pass in your API key and all other necessary options that you would have passed to your Google Maps script. You can just pass it to this component and render it out. I had to create an API key for this, so I, I'm not going to implement this, but it's just as easy as pasting in your API key and any query that you would pass to your map here to render a map on your app. Uh, very similar, but we're going to implement the YouTube embed just as an example. So let me just bring in this section as well so down here i'm going to add another section that uses the youtube embed now this is going to be loading your videos a bit faster because it's using the light youtube embed package and you can just pass in a video id and some parameters that you would have passed to your uh, video component uh, to this and then go ahead and, and actually render your videos in your Next.js apps. So going back to localhost, this is not the deployed version. As you can see, the video is already here. This is the latest video that we had about optimistic UI and how you can use the use optimistic hook. If you haven't watched it, definitely go ahead and watch it. So we have this video playing here. The controls are zero. That's why we don't see any controls here. So this is how you can add 
any third-party script from Google for now and hopefully for more third-party packages or scripts in future to your Next.js app in a more performant and developer-friendly way. If you have any questions, like always, hit me up in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.